Hey, what's up guys? Today it's time to show you my two new favorite toys. Right now. So today I will present you my two new toys. Um, one toy is for a vocal and for the guitar as well. Um, and the other one is the time machine. What is that? A, 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 dyna, a dynamic time machine. Uh, first, um, okay, let me see, show you. This is a, a rig I made. I call, I call it an 80s glam rig because for something because of the sound. Hold the sample version 4.2 is a vocal multiplier. You can multiply for 4 to 32 vocal voice. But only, not only voice, it works really well for the guitar. So, um, it's multiply with different. This is the, the diagram that show the panning, the distance with the, the as a delay. So you got the vibrato. I use that for chorusing a little bit. So this is a setting for the guitar I use. Uh, a little f between first and zero, a zero point five. I put the vibrato to slow. I put that to random. So it, each vo voice got different tuning. So this is really cool. Um, the, the variant dynamic, I don't touch this, not really. Um, I put four voice, four voice, and then I put a unison on it, so you can do uh, multiply vocal for bass vocal as well, alto for vocal for female vocal. So I will show you that later. Just for the guitar, I use the setting. Uh, made a little bit tight, loose, a little bit like this, it's section C, uh, spread uh, default, wide focus, you know, the different focus all in the middle on the disperse left and right with different delay. So, um, this setting give me some guitar stuff like, like that. This is like. So I got to do a mix um, a bit. So this is giving me a sound of a big glamour sound of the guitar. Uh, as for vocal, okay, vocal, I use that, this is my new rig. I can say that this tool is the secret weapon for multi-voice, multi-core voice, sure, for um, secret weapon, vocal secret weapon for Marilyn Manson, as well um, as uh, Alice Cooper, uh, uh, maybe uh, Ozzy Osbourne, maybe Enya, yeah, for multi-vocal, 32 vocal, just like a vocal short, this is a secret weapon for any. So, for the vocals, uh, I say this is a secret vocal for my Marilyn Manson. So, so if I turn on the vocal like that, first I got the ADT. Oh yeah, for the ADT, for the ADT, I uh, do this. Uh, finally, found a good setting for the ADT for the guitar. Uh, 45 millisecond dry uh, panning 97 person um, the wild max wild to 1.4 hertz uh, sign flutter to max flutter to 4 this setting so I get some good guitar like, like this to some <laughs> well, I get the good the good ADT stuff so. So um, this sound really good. Uh, so I used for the clone ensemble. The difference is more um, more like Zach Ward guitar um, kind, Ozzy Osbourne. I get four guitar multiply four guitars. So. Um, for, I got my vocal, I use the ADT for basic lead vocal, dubbed lead vocals, so I kind of 
pretty kind of pressing Marilyn Manson and a far clone ensemble. Uh, clone ensemble, I use that. I uh, use eight voice with a little bit more thin disposition, um, slow vibrato, random vibrato, eight, nine, like this, I could section B. And this time I use a uh, unison, my unison vocal and alto female vocal. So it sounds pretty on, it sound like that. Just like a multi-vocal. So um, I try to do the dope show, just like male and Manson uh, vocal, secret vocal, vocal for Mechanical Animal album. So this is so like, yeah. We do a demo with the uh, lyric shit like that. It's in time to fish the fire on the date on the date. Eighty feet please. This is the place that you're thinking of this. Copyright, so it's like way out of the So um, you can do a very, very cl glamorous song. Okay, this is gibberish lyric, guys. I present you today, again, the Vintager toy. I used that just before the Ferric TDS for mastering, compressing, and you know, compressing that dynamics, take dynamic, and then I use Vintager toy. It's a time machine. It's got a vintage sound mass maker time machine, so you can select the year and, depending on the year, decrease the year, the spectrum the left and right shield the stereo and the dynamic change as sage. Uh, you can also add noise but don't really don't recommend this when you use that in Reaper because in Reaper don't know there's a bug it cut the sound into a mute or something. So I put uh, the bass mad the bass has H stereo as age of saturation. So I'll give you a example of what the difference put my voice on it. So we, we are in 1938. Okay, this is an anachronism. Um, 1938 vocal, 1938, so you go in advance to 1950 in the age, and then coming back to current. This is the clear sound of digital of another way, and the redegrades in the year 2000, and get to go back to 1984. So we got a more 1994 <laughs> This vintage toy I used that as well for metal, as well for the uh, 19, you know, 80 cent uh, rig. So here I got the same thing. I got the uh, classic river, raw ribbonizer, okay, fairy TDS, oh, okay. So this is a sound. So 
uh, can put the um, compressor into a master iron cave. Okay? I got the vintage or toy there. Okay, get the vintage or the toy, I got the vintage or the toy. We're in 1982, we can say 1984, and it sounds exactly with the art compressor. Put down the saturation of ferric and that. Uh, so we have this song, really flat. And within 1985, 84, town and sound really hot, you know, not more hot, but warm. You know. This is the Finjader toy one from one and um, the clone ensemble, two of my favorite plugin. Uh, the just not is that the clone ensemble is not a free plugin. Okay, you, you can try this as a demo with some limitation on setting on some part you don't have access. So you have to pay $33.66 for the license and they add some um, add some to get some, you know, the key, the unlock key, so you get the username, unlock, unlock key, so you can enter. You know, there's a little button you can click to enter register, registration, and then enter the, this accolade um, code, code on it. So uh, everything will be unlocked, everything is going fine. So thanks for watching.